So it is uh, 5.58 p.m. It's Saturday. I just finished off <clears throat> for 12 hours since today. We're gonna go home. I got my website back. I paid some guy on Fiverr. Let's see if it was worth it. He cost me $67. He got my website back. Now to redesign the whole entire thing and stuff. Like e uh, ebook in there. There's where people just click on it, click on it, and uh, um, order it. I'm, I've been posting um, Instagram things. You know, just been posting them. Just whatever I, I, you know, I can make out of the whole entire day. I just keep posting, and posting, and posting until basically um, I get like a, a, a rhythm for it, and I pick up my my, 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 my that I have just increased my workload like twice as much. Now I'm doing everything like super duper like in a rush on steroids, uh, and then on top of that, um, I still need to work out and make my meals. All right, let's keep going. I carry everything myself. <sighs> All right, so it's like uh, it's nine fifty eight PM. I'm still working on this. Um, but I at least got my website back and I'm just gonna put it a uh, coming soon. I'm so tired um, I'm just gonna put it coming soon into the website and um, at least a link So my sad picture right there and then you know um, A link to my ebook for the world wants to buy it so, At least for now but I'm tired Go to bed. We gotta wake up at three. Let's make this money. Hey. All right. So let's talk a little bit about <clears throat> uh, when I incorporate it. So actually, I'm sorry. Before I, I should have done this first but I should have got a virtual address. The reason why you want a virtual address is because a virtual address keeps, you know, personal and business, you know, separated. And remember, when you incorporate, your address becomes a uh, public access. So you really need a virtual address. There's uh, three platforms where you get, that I have right now that you can use. It's either iPostal, um, <clears throat> it was DaVinci, and, uh, and the Opus Virtual Office. The offices, basically, they give you a package and stuff, and you can choose however you want to. There are some virtual office that I could actually give you a physical office space where you can actually have your meetings. But it's just, you know, a mailbox, and it does give you a phone number on, on Opus. I got a phone number. I got a fax number. And I also got a uh, personal secretary. So if you was to call my number, a girl would answer the phone on the other line and if someone was to leave a message they will leave a message on that phone and then i will get it in the email and also if any documents or even fax um i will get all my uh faxes uh delivered on an email in pdf form and to my email but before you do anything before you incorporate you really need that address you shouldn't be doing anything without that first do not mix home and business together it, then you're going to incorporate whether you want to do it through a lawyer or you want to go and do it yourself which will be a lot cheaper uh, either through ink file or legal zoom i always recommend ink file is a lot cheaper i did legal zoom and it cost me the same amount as it was a lawyer because they messed up And right now we're gonna be going to the gym for a little bit because I'm suffering from some sleep deprivation, but I'm still gonna go anyway. Um, you know, some hitters just can't do it. That's why they hate.
and that's why you don't see haters at the gym they seem to quit you know how do you troll a troll while doing what you know he cannot do just keep making this money now it is 10 30 p.m so i got 30 minutes um i just might as well just um work on the website for a little bit a little bit at a time every day at the end it accumulates all right let's keep it going all right sorry it is wednesday it is 6 or 7 p.m um i'm done working uh, i was gonna go work on the website and do a little bit of it um but i'm not gonna work on the website who uh, I, what i'm gonna do right now is talk to a lady called michelle she used to be my uh she used to assist me. She used to do a lot of the back stuff uh, in, the, in the back end um, before, when I had my car, um, before I lost it. So I got this repo on my credit that popped up and I need to get rid of it. So she's gonna be the one that's gonna be helping me. So I'm gonna be talking to her for, uh, talking to her for a little bit. She seems to be an expert uh, uh, and she knows to know what she's doing. So I'm gonna take on her services right now and I'm just gonna get, uh, I'll do the process to get this removed and though I just, just like pay for it, I, I can pay for it because it's like 2,600 bucks. I can pay for it, but I need it to be removed once it's paid. So that's what I wanna do. That once I pay for it, it gets removed and or if I can remove it without even paying for it, it's even better. But I just need it removed from my credit because it's been, it's been affecting me, so. All right, so we're doing this whole credit cleaning thing. Man, okay, I have so many red flags on my credit report. So, you know, the repo was um, Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. So basically, Puerto Rico got flattened. Every, everybody lost all their business, including banks. Banks couldn't even get their money out. Um, so I couldn't return my car. I couldn't use it. I couldn't use it. Um, because it was it was locked up and I was leaving to Texas so I had to give it back so I couldn't give it back so I had to leave and then when the banks were able to take the cars back then I was able to return the car and then they put it a repo so one credit says that it's a voluntary and the other one there was a voluntary repo and the other one says that it's an involuntary repo like okay and not only that it is because since one bank closed and they sold the account to another bank so one bank is collecting and the other one is collecting also so i'm getting charged twice for the same amount which is 2600 i have a no problem paying for it the issue is that um once i pay it i need to remove so i'm gonna pay this girl michelle okay and everything's gonna get removed and that dude my address just get like look right, hold on hopefully no numbers so I have one address, I have two addresses, and then I have an address in Puerto Rico. So, red flags, red flag. Look, all these addresses, all these addresses in 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 one of my uh, in my Equifax account. Look, I move a lot. Okay, leave me alone. I move a lot. You know, I'm hustling. I hustled in Patrick, in New York, New York hustling, 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 and now here in in in. Um, but I need all these addresses removed and stuff but these are all my accounts i mean this is but you know i got all those things in there and hopefully let's see if it works it's going to take some time i'm also it's going to take a couple of months for um for everything to be um to be removed and i think this is why i be getting denied for these damn loans that i've been trying to get for the damn car and i want i need to really do something because this is really killing me I can't do it under my business name because my business does not it has the credit and it makes the money, but I don't have the history. Now, for me, I don't make enough, okay, to justify the payment of the loan. Um, my credit score is a 750, 7, 750, somewhere in the 700s, okay, just credit score. So I have a pretty good, not an awesome credit score, but I have a pretty good credit score. But the repo is the one that kills me. So I really need that repo removed. 
All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep hustling. It is 9.05 p.m. and I'm done. I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna go to bed early. So let's see what happens in time. Damn it. Damn it. So I got all these discrepancies in my credit. Um, a whole bunch of actors, nothing matches up. Nothing uh, matches up. So I'm gonna get them all removed and we already removed a whole bunch of stuff and it's gonna take about 30 days. So let's keep going for the rest of the week and let's see what happens the whole Instagram thing. It is just uh, just watching Skillshare. That's all I've been doing. It's just video after video after video. And then I'm going to other people's Instagram to see what they're doing and how they're treating it and stuff. There's some girl that I met that wants to work with me on the uh, Instagram thing. But you know, as always, everything is money and that's the one thing that I have to really concern about right now, so. And we are going to all right we gotta switch cars today um i got lucky and i got switched back to a uh, downgraded to a standard range blue blue but the reason why is because again this one cost me uh 28 and this one's going to cost me 24 so it's almost a 500 dollars difference and i still have i still make the same amount of money so uh, I'm downgrading down to the standard range and it's brand spanking new. Brand spanking new. Uh, and this is, huh, are you recording? Yes. Now this is the reason why you need one of these. Trunk organizer. Now, I just gotta grab this thing right here, right? Hold on, all right, so. You just grab it. Okay. We're gonna go to the other car. Poof, I'm done. 10 seconds. All right, so that's it. I am done. I did check, uh, oh my god, my, my score, okay, my credit, just because of the stupid things, so, so there's some stupid things in there in my credit score that she removed, the next day my credit score jumped to 769, 769, something like that, it, it just jumped, just because I got all these things removed, okay, it seems like all this stuff was really worth it, but uh, I'm going to change my videos a little bit, uh, I, I'm just... I really don't want to go through like all the stuff. I just want to have fun and um, record my videos and just kind of just enjoy my day and stuff and enjoy my week. Um, you know, and, and then just every once in a while, just like post something in my videos that, uh, uh, you know, help me make um, a little bit of income and that's where you guys can do the same thing too. So I'm just kind of just, I just want to enjoy it, you know, but, you know, at, at least I put in the uh, virtual offices that I actually use. Um, Again, you're gonna need those. You, you're gonna need the virtual, I mean, not unless you have like your own office or you have your own building, you're gonna need a virtual office. Go in there, search it, research it, see all the benefits that you get out of it and stuff. There'll be links at the bottom of my, uh, um, of the video and just but just open one up if, if, if you wanna go. Yeah, man, um, let's keep it going and uh, let's have fun with this. I really wanna have fun with this. I wanna do this, um, you know, talking in the videos about about uh, my finances and all that stuff so i love the color okay i like it. it's really blue it's really blue do that that's why i call it the smurf um but i love this thing doesn't matter what color it is let's keep it so let's keep making these youtube videos see where it takes me and uh, let's keep increasing this income let's make this money 